Greetings viewers, Adventure Link here. Today I'm here to review um, Tri Tribulati Father, I believe I pronounced his name correctly. This Solid ROM series once again. This time I'm going to go over versions 3.0 and 3.1. Stock GUI and Clock 3.6. Now a little bit of background about his ROM series is that a, for, a forum goer on XDA known as Tribulati Father. Again, I hope I pronounced his name correctly. If not, I humbly apologize. Made a, um, a ROM for the HTC Evo 3D based off of the latest stock ice cream sandwich update for from Sprint. Just like pretty much every other Evo 3D ROM out there. And unless you have some other phone. <laughs> Since he started this ROM series, he had a... Um, he initially tried to, you know, make overclocked versions of all his ROMs, but they all kept rebooting and screwing up. So eventually he ended up splitting it to where one branch would be the stock clock series. The other would be the overclock series. Since he started his ROM series, he's got um, stock Sense 3.6 GUI, a custom 3.6 GUI, a senseless version, which is pretty much no... Very little sense, very little HTC, but with an AOSP theme. It, I probably cor incorrectly call this the AOSP version, which I, again, I apologize for that. In addition, he's also had a Sense 4.0 ROM, but since he managed to port Sense 4.1 successfully, he's got a Sense 4.1 stock, stock and overclocked, of course, and it's a stock GUI and a custom GUI. Today I'm going to review the stock 3.6 clock and GUI. Well, I've had it for about a week now. First off, the camera is obviously working fine. If you can see this video and you can hear me, then Trib, you did a good job with the camera, buddy. It still works. Yeah! And pretty much all my other applications work too. Um... I've used the Sense 3.0 version for a few days, and I used the Sense 3.0, or not the Sense 3.0, but the version 3.0 and 3.1 both for a few days, so I'm combining them both into one review. With Sense 3.0 Trib, like, like I said on XDA, you hit a home run with this one, buddy, for the most part. Well, what in, in regard to that, I mean that the Facebook, you know, kept screwing up but you managed to fix that in the next release. Um, I believe the weather also screwed up as well, where every time I would open the weather and able to sound effects, it would force close on you, and you would have to tell HTC all about it, which, just so you know, Trib did fix it in 3.1, and he also made Facebook better than ever in 3.1. And in this regard, he had to fix some kind of thing with uh, some kind of graphics glitch, but he did more than that. When you click on a photo, it used to always take forever to load up. Now it loads up almost immediately. As you all know, I is was the ad, I is was the admin on a group called uh, Neighbors Helping Neighbors for my buddy Scott Kearns. Right now I'm on a leave of absence for a little bit, personal reasons, but I must also say that all the notifications there work too. New posts in the group, new threads, approving members, all that. So Trib. You did it. You did a hell of a good job with this. The only thing that's screwed up so far is that in 3.1, where you have the the battery percentage and the battery bar, for whatever reason, you took it out. What happened? I like that. Now I have to resort back to Lee Droid's tweaks and take up more space on my dashboard again, buddy. What happened? Oh well. At least the, the 4G is stronger than ever in both 3.0 and 3.1. And in this regard, I was in uh, Kroger's in Norwood once. All my signals kept dying and dying and dying. But I was even all the way back, like halfway in the store. 4G just kept trucking on. So I don't know what I did, if it was something that I'm, that must have been left over when I installed it or if Trib fixed something or improved it. But I guess you did good, another good job there, buddy. So, Yeah. And of course, the Wii remotes still work in 3.0 and 3.1. Just get a, hit up a, a series of emulators called .mu. He's got uh, by Robert Broglia, aka Rockashazi, on the SNES 9X forum. 
He's got um, NES.mu, Mega Drive.mu, Game Boy Advance and Color.mu. Um, shoot. I think that's pretty much all I have installed, but he's got several others too. And I would like to say that singing the Wii remotes in that emulator works. Unfortunately, 6 Axis does not work. <clears throat> Hopefully, Trib or someone else more knowledgeable will be able to um, get it going again. If nothing else, it'll, it'll just have to um, probably debloat the senseless version a little bit farther to make the Bluetooth play nice or update the Bluetooth stack all across the board. Also, I must say this ROM has very good battery life. At idle, I can pretty much go the entire day, sometimes even two without having to charge it. This is on the extended battery, just so you know. Trib, you pretty much, that and getting that code at the Amazon pretty much taught me into getting an extended battery for this for this phone, so congratulations on motivating me for getting it, buddy. Anyway, I guess that's all I got to say on Solid ROM version 3.0 and 3.1. I still advise you all to give it a try, and I'm still obviously using it as my daily driver on the Evo 3D. So that's all I have to say on that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. about my review, hit me up in the comments section or in Trib's thread on XDA for Solid ROM, which I will post a link in the description. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, etc. about mobile platforms such as Windows Phone, Android, iOS, and their respective devices, head up the XDA developers forums, but just as a fair warning, the community there is huge, like Xbox and its grand marquees. So before you post a question or even make a nick there, do search before posting. Most likely your question was already asked once before, if not several times, and answered just as many times. And they always encourage you to search before posting, so I would advise you respect that. If you have, if you want to see more videos like these, as well as stances, rants, repair videos, vlogs, and quick tips, and anything else I want to post, hit the subscribe button at the top of this video or any other video that I have. It's not hard. You will be automatically subscribed to any video that I have, and as always, you can go over all my old videos as well. Ben Adventure Link, sporting my new Built for Tough baseball cap. Hopefully, this one does not get mangled up in the washing machine. Going to quote out this video as always. Close it out by quoting Eric the Car Guy. Be safe, have fun, and as always, stay dirty. See ya.